Hi everyone, my name is Sean Beatman here again, and well, I want to talk about three different, actually four different, three favorite movies that I've seen, and well, one is the Jean Claude Van Damme version of Street Fighter, which he was him and his group of military buddies that I got take out, try to save these. He was in the aid workers and the military person that got caught by but the villain um, bison was sending some some spies in with them and some and and some other characters that helped out yada 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 and they had to take. They had, but Anne Bison wanted X miles do dollars to for the, the the Allied nations to pay be in within three days, and which he got didn't get paid that money, and there was one the big battle for it, for the power of I think oh, shit. It's been a while since I've seen that film, mind you, and well, it has some um, nods to the video game franchise, and somehow they fucked up on the character alignments. They had a, a villain from the video game as a hero in the movie, and one of the good guys from the movie. And the franchise was a villain, but technically, I let that slide because he was, that character was actually comic relief in the movie. That he had to work off of the villainous dictator, military dictator. And they actually, and unlike the, that joke of a movie called Street Fighter Legend of Chun Li, they actually tell a little backstory on, between Chun Li, and and Bison, that Chung Li's father was almost like a mayor of a small Chinese village, and Chung Li went to three different continents to learn their different styles of kung fu. And the reason why is because M. Bison killed her, personally killed her father, and oh, and another. Thing I noticed in that movie in Street Fighter the Van Damme version is in the video game T Hawk, the big Native American, was about maybe seven foot seven ish, and in the movie he was about maybe six two, which I think was kind of odd. An upside they had an Australian. Playing an English woman. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't know why. Another and for for E Honda, who was the, the, the Japanese sumo wrestler in the field game, in the, in John Club and them version of Street Fighter, he was a Hawaiian sumo Hawaiian sumo wrestler, and the guy who played him was. From Samoa, which boggles the mind even further. And also, believe it or not, I seen that in Ch in the movie Street Fighter the Van Damme version, the person who played Chun Li was full Chinese. Ming Na Wen, who is a brilliant actress, mind you, check her at work in ER the early seasons, and in the Legend of Chung Li film, personal play Chung Li was actually half Chinese, which made fans even more angry. And also, up now, oh, and if you in the in the video game version, anime version of, of Street Fighter 2, the anime movie, it's a lot better than. 
There's a storyline because it involves M. Bison wanting to have harness the uh, powers from Ken Ryu, who was hard to track down. They, so he had sent his androids to find them, and he kidnapped his Ryu's best friend, Ken Masters, who was who both of them were actually con artists in the Van Damme live action movie and he, he actually put in that in the three part two at the animated movie and Bison manipulated Ken's mind and made him into a robot that actually actually a robotic slave that almost killed his best friend and both Ken, yeah, they had a, a, a climatic battle between Ken and Ryu, seeing which one's better, but and actually and then as a draw because had had Ken had some flashbacks of who of some how he, his from all training memories that he he had and the there's there's two kind of different soundtracks for the movie. There was the Japanese soundtrack and the English soundtrack, which had some some great metal song to, songs during the English dub and some songs that were done by Alice in Chains and Soldier and some other metal bands in the mid '90s and. To me, and, and in the movie that they they had one fight between Chun Li and Vega, which Vega died, and Chun Li went went to the hospital after the fight, which was kind of a low point in the movie. And there is actually an Easter egg. In the in the Street Fighter, to the animated movie, is that Akuma from Lethal I mean, Street, I mean, Street Fighter Alpha has a small cameo without any role speaking role, roles in that movie, which you see him sitting cross-legged on the street before you see the M the Dulcim Ihana fight in India, and the Street Fighter Alpha anime movie, it almost like the talk of the Street Fighter 2 anime movie, but they include the characters from some of the characters from Street Fighter 2 and some from the Street Fighter Alpha franchise, like Sakura, the British Bug, Birdie, Sagat's student, Adon, and even a few of the people. Some of the characters that you might know, see in the in Street Fighter Alpha franchise. And to me, I'm going to give all three movies a three and a half out of five.